I'm Brenda Stone. I'm an artist here in North Queensland and I've been practicing my art professionally now for five years. I did break my collarbone um, back in 2016, which actually was a blessing in disguise. I ended up going into my art full-time professional career at that stage. I'd been working ten and a half years in a coffee shop, loving my job, but always doing my art on the side. And it actually forced me to stop and give me the time to try it and see if it worked. And yeah, four years later, here I am. I've always loved art, always been interested in art. Uh, my nana was an artist, uh, her house was full of artworks. My mum did a lot of drawing and my sister did a lot of drawing, um, so I just watched them and loved it. Um, yeah, in school I was really good at it and luckily I had a really good senior teacher just prepare me and train me for uni and just to kind of encourage me in that. I did visual arts at uni, yeah, but the hardest thing about uni is that it doesn't give you a job. You do your Bachelor of Visual Arts and then they go, here's your degree, um, go, go for it, see you later. Like, and I just felt there was no uh, bridging into the industry. I would call myself an abstract artist, even though it does seem very broad. I love playing with enamels, acrylics, and as of the last number of years, resins. So always probably just played with how water-based and oil-based paints work together and how they react and how they create interesting patterns. That's a lot of what I'm known for. Around our location and our region is the most inspiring colours, I believe. So if I could do every painting in blue ocean colours, I would be happy. But a lot of people commission other colours as well. I love the water though, but I think, yeah, it's just trying to, I think trying to create what people see and what the, or how they feel in the water, I think, in a lot of my paintings. Martin Locke recently contacted me. Um, he's developing the new Flinders Lane in the city in Townsville, and he has commissioned an artwork which is 17 square metres. It's probably the biggest artwork I have completed to date in my career. So these panels aren't something I usually paint on, and Martin has informed me that the project opens in two weeks. So after a lot of freaking out um, and being a bit overwhelmed with the deadline, I came to Chris at Fiber Finish. He was awesome. We came up with a game plan for how to get this project complete in the time that we had. And we are currently at six panels out of seven and one more to go. When I tell people about the project, I get pretty passionate about it because it all just fell into place. Like everything I needed fell into place. Meeting Chris at Fiber Finish, um, just his expertise and everything that he brings and all of his knowledge um, helped me, I guess, produce each panel and yeah, bring this to life.